Hi guys, this is Fernando doing another video for the Modern Survivalist. In this case, explaining why I chose the Honda CRV as my bug out vehicle. This is a video that has been demanded uh, through uh, YouTube messages and through uh, email. <laughs> pretty, uh, yeah, pretty demanded by some of, the, of you guys. So that's why I'm doing it now. This is a Honda CRV 2003 in pretty good condition, about 80,000 miles, and very few, I'd say, no changes, modifications that I can see. So it's in pretty good shape. Let's go inside just because it's kind of cold out here. And let's talk here. Yeah, this is better. Let's talk a little bit about why I chose this vehicle. Guys, remember, I'm coming from Argentina for, for almost a decade. For me, driving was a, a matter of almost on a daily basis avoiding roadblocks, uh, social unrest problems, protests. It's, uh, you go insane driving in Buenos Aires, especially during uh, 2001, 2002. Up until 2005, it was a matter of uh, three out of the five days a week, three days uh, of roadblocks and avoiding them, uh, listening to the radio a lot, gathering information so as to know which roads not to take um, was pretty bad. And even now, it's it's madness. Uh, it's it's very problematic. I'd say it's gone down. The, the amount of roadblocks and and protests it ha has gone down a little bit the last few years. But man, it it was bad. And based on all that, I mean, tons of experience avoiding these problems and getting caught in them and <laughs> knowing exactly what I wanted in term of in terms of, of a vehicle when when I would buy a new one. I knew what what it is that I was going to be looking for, and it, it, it is this is just my opinion, guys. As always, yours may be different. In my opinion, it's very different from what lots of people consider the ideal bug out vehicle. When when you talk about bug out vehicles, people think of off roading and four x four truck monsters. No, for me, it's about having a vehicle that has first of all good gas mileage because your vehicle has to be what you drive on daily basis. If you if it's it's like the handgun, if it's not there with you, you will not have a choice. So it makes little sense to have your your specific a uh, bug out vehicle, a monster truck, four x four, and then driving a a Prius every day to to work because you don't get any warnings in terms of of problems when they hit you. Okay. So, yeah, drop the mic there for a second, sorry. So, what it is that I wanted, what it is it that I was looking for? I have my little paper here, so as to help me out. I knew I wanted good gas mileage, because it's, it's uh, the most important thing is, uh, is gas mileage in terms of getting from point A from, to point B, from uh, going to one place to another, a, a truck that uses lots of gasoline, even if you have lots of gasoline, uh, it's just giving you a greater, um, uh, a greater distance uh, to reach because of the good gas mileage. It's gonna be, you're gonna be making the best of the amount of gas that you have with a vehicle that has good gas mileage. Having experienced all these roadblocks and knowing that the guys that had a 4x4 and off-road capabilities just went off the road, I wanted a vehicle that would be able to go over the curb on the sidewalk, go over a boulevard maybe if needed so as to avoid problems. So I was thinking of a light SUV, which is what the Honda CRV is. I wanted a good amount of, of ground clearance, at least enough so as to get over the curb and on the sidewalk and avoid problems problems if I had to make a make an emergency u-turn somewhere and while while not being so high that would uh, not make it uh, reasonable for everyday commuting and everyday use all right I wanted a vehicle that would be reliable which the Honda CRV is it is a very reliable vehicle and it, 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 when properly maintained it's going to be working for you well for a long period of time 80,000 miles is really nothing. This car can easily go for 100, 150, 200,000 miles and it's still doing still doing what it's supposed to do. It also it's a relatively affordable to buy and to maintain. It has interchangeability with Honda Civic in many of its parts and that means it's pretty easy to repair and cheap to repair and people know mechanics know how to repair it. It's, it's not huge, so it's a small, medium-sized SUV. That means it's capable of squeezing through places uh, so as to avoid problems where an, a larger vehicle would be stuck. 
it has a good amount of space inside for its size and even though it's not a pickup all that all this this hard rooftop means that I have useful space and it's space that's also more secured than if I just had a, a, the back of a pickup that is more exposed not only to the weather conditions but also uh, criminals that may try to steal from you it's gonna be seating you know you have two guys in front uh, three in the back it's not a huge vehicle it's not for lots of people but the space that it has it is actually pretty useful what else what some of the things that I would do to the vehicle and uh, again different from many of the things that sometimes I see focus mostly on off-road capability for me it's not about off-road again it's about good gas mileage a vehicle that you can use on daily basis so as to have it when you need it and and uh, get you to wherever you have to go and if you have to go over the curb the sidewalk be able to do that the modifications I would make would be installing the security film on the windows which like, you know, like poor man's uh, armored <laughs> glass it's not nearly as good of course but it is much more security than not having that film that film I know that's gonna be protecting you if someone uh, throws rocks and stones uh, at the windshield I know people that died because uh, of criminals doing that uh, on the highway th uh, rocks and bricks uh, thrown at them and uh, causing a uh, serious injuries or even death by by these guys often often a uh, carjackers and um, it's gonna be giving you more security so security window film I actually know that the thickest one available in the market in combination with the glass itself it has been able to stop 22 long rifle 22 has been stopped by the combination of the glass and that security anti-vandalism film that goes uh, in, into these glasses. So it's not perfect, but it does give you some protection. Also run flats, that's something that I want to be installing in this car as soon as possible. Run flats mean that, that whatever um, uh, ambush has been planned on you or attacked by uh, by by criminals by carjackers it's gonna be giving you the the opportunity to keep driving uh, in Argentina we knew for a fact that if uh, a tire uh, blew in the middle of the road there was a good chance that was staged by by carjackers so you wanted to keep driving to uh, a safer place a gas station somewhere uh, so it's it's pretty important and also think of the the variety of, of possibilities of social unrest where you want just that you want the possibility of just keep driving and not stop to change a tire uh, also on on covering more stuff uh, when there's a, a social degradation and and the roads aren't nearly as in good shape as they used to be there's more debris it, you do blow up tires much more often and sometimes it's even on purpose by the guys that sell tires and change tires they throw nails on the street this is something that happened to me in Argentina a lot I would change maybe two three times the tires uh, until I realized that I had to avoid a certain road because it had been uh, mechanics and, and tire guys had thrown nails on it on purpose so it's tough to to keep in mind uh, one more thing a uh, bolt bars and grill protection in case you have to push shove a vehicle slowly slowly out of place so as to avoid a, a an ambush or, or a kidnap attempt or or there's a um, debris or anything in the road and you have to push aside if you have a, a, a pr uh, some sort of protection for your radiator that's also pretty pretty good and finally maybe uh, a roof rack on top that would be a a good idea for more added space besides that I wouldn't go crazy on especially wouldn't do much in terms of off-road stuff that uh, impairs and diminishes the, the the performance of the vehicle on the road in normal terms because again it's a vehicle that's gonna be used more in normal times more in for commuting for taking cake taking the kids to school for going to your job shopping whatever uh, than than anything else so uh, many of these modifications actually make your car uh, use more gasoline use more gas reduce the, the efficiency it's uh, less comfortable for driving around so most of those things in terms of off-road yeah I wouldn't I wouldn't do it specifically for a vehicle that is you know a SHTF type of vehicle and, and bug out vehicle rather than a, a specifically off-road car
guys that's basically it i hope these this answered many of the questions you guys had and again i love i love receiving the comments and <laughs> i actually like that so many of you were were anxious about me doing this this video i hope i managed to answer those questions folks as always remember have um, have a great day remember to subscribe if you're liking these videos take care have a great day see you on our next video